Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be testing out trying the Nivea Express Hydration Primer in dry and sensitive skin. I have previously tried the one in normal skin. Literally, it's the next day, but in YouTube land, it's one week later. I have normal to combination kind of skin. I tend to get a little bit oily around this area and sometimes on my forehead, basically around the T-zone. Zone. and I really really liked the way that this primer held up but seeing as they at Superdrug had this on for £2.45 usually £4.99 I decided to pick both of them up and see which one would be better because sometimes around here and under my eyes I tend to get a little bit dry so overall I wanted to find out which one is better for my kind of skin because my skin can be very very I don't even know it just it, it can't make up its mind it just it just doesn't know what the hell it wants this is what the primer looks like it's 50 ml and it says on the side of the box it's enriched with natural almond oil and calendula extract both of the primers claim to do the exact same thing which is to provide an even and smooth base for effective makeup application to help your makeup stay put now I did definitely find that with the, the normal to combination skin one what I did find was when I was applying it that it soaked up into my skin so fast that it didn't really help my foundation to blend out it literally soaked up into the skin it made my skin very very smooth look, smooth feeling and my brush was gliding but it wasn't really helping my foundation to blend so I was having to do a little bit more work now this one also claims to have the same instant absorption feature as the other primer so I don't know if that's gonna really be a problem as such but we're gonna just see how it works out so let's try the primer on and again it comes with this nice little foil peel away thing and it's kind of jelly like and it smells the exact same as the other one so I've only taken a small bit I'm just gonna apply it all over my face now, as you've seen I've done a very natural eyeshadow look and I've already done my brows don't forget to do the neck and ears okay so now that that's applied I'm gonna try and work a little bit faster today I'm just gonna put on my pro conceal I don't even really do this too it just helps to balance out the color and to give just a little bit more a little bit more coverage I do need to go and buy another one because it's almost done and again I'm gonna be using my born this way foundation by Too Faced feel it's better to use the same foundation that I used for the other one so we can compare it fairly See, now that I am, I've worked a little bit faster this time, I feel like it is blending in a lot better than it did with the other one. But in saying that, I don't feel like I should have to rush to apply my makeup after I put on my primer. I don't want to feel like I'm racing against the clock. Yeah, like as I'm applying my second layer, I'm feeling like it's having to work that little bit more to blend it yeah everything's blended now right so now that that has blended in it wasn't as hard as the normal skin formulation but that's kind of because I knew that I had to work a lot quicker in order for me to be able to use the primer to help blend the foundation yeah I do believe that it's blended in very very well again I'm not going to use too much powder but I am still going to set my face with a powder and we will see how much oil peaks through because this one does have I believe it said almond oil natural almond oil and of course for sensitive to dry skin do require um, a little bit more oil in their skin so I'm expecting for it to be a little bit more oily than the other one but I'm not going to try and um, I'm just gonna wait and see so now that my foundation has been applied I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my makeup and then I am going to go and run my errands it's my son's birthday on Friday by the time this goes up it would have already gone past his birthday and it would have already gone past my birthday as well so I will check back in with you in a few hours time to let you know or to let you see 
what my foundation looks like and to let you know my final thoughts on it. See you soon, bye. Hi, so I am back. It's been about six hours since I first applied the primer and my makeup. I've gone out, I've run a few errands, I've come home, I've shot a few more videos, I've edited, I've done things around the house. I've been doing a lot today and again, my makeup has really held on really, really good. I thought that there was going to be a lot more oil in this area but there isn't it's literally the same as the normal to combination skin primer so i'm a little bit out of breath i've literally just walked through the door and it's basically giving me the same kind of result as the other primer i mean i don't really see much of a difference i really don't see much of a difference at all i mean i'm so like i, I didn't expect this result i'm just so very i'm just so happy and I don't really feel like I would have to choose between one or the other. I could literally just pick up one and just go with it. I don't feel like if I was in, if I'd run out of both of them and I was in store and they only had one, I wouldn't feel any way to pick it up because there isn't any preference because they're both just as good as one another. Does that make sense? So I'm happy with the two of them. I really do like both of these primers. I would definitely say for £2.45, it is a promotion that uh, Superdrug are having at the moment. But for £2.45, really go and pick them up. Even for the £4.99, which is the regular price, pick it up, try it, seriously. This one is the one that I'm currently wearing. It's for dry skin and for sensitive skin. This is the one that I've tried before. I will leave the link down below of my review of it, but it's practically the same result. I'm just so happy with the way that it's helped to just hold on to my makeup. I mean, it even rained a little bit today. I did not anticipate the rain and here I am. So happy. I've got a tiny little bit of shine on my forehead. It's not greasy and like I thought it might be I literally have the exact same result so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video bye